Hey y'all, welcome to Sweet Tea and Butterflies. Today I have a collab. Um, oh, it's the thrift, thrift, flip road trip. <laughs> That's a tongue twister, isn't it? Anyway, so I figured you've seen this little fella. If you've watched some of my recent videos, seen this little fella pop up there, kind of popping his head in every now and then. So I figured I'd uh, let him say hello. Although, yeah, he's just sitting there. He's so patient. I can do whatever with him, and he just... <laughs> he's such a little cuddle bug. Anyway, so today's um, collaboration is working with Thrifted or um, upcycling different items or crafting from your stash. <laughs> Or craft or finishing projects that have been sitting there for a while that you haven't um that I haven't finished. So I've got two, I think, two projects that I had not finished before. I'm gonna take these off because the glare from the light. Anyway, um I've got two projects that are that I pulled out of my stash that were started that I need to finish. So that's what I did with two of them. And then I had one more um, project that I did from scratch um, with a an item that um, I had received when I got the stuff from the shed. Um, my friend Joy had given me all kinds of stuff, so crafting stuff. So that's what I'm using for the other project. So... With all that being said, let's go ahead and get crafty. I hope you enjoy. And oh, and I just wanted to also say that, you know, I want to thank all of you that constantly, you know, watch my videos, that um, the subscribers that watch the videos, comment, like, share. Um, it means the world to me. And anybody coming over from the playlist or anybody who's new subscribers, Welcome and thank you so much for your support. I am trying to get up to a thousand subscribers by my birthday, which is October 16th. And I will be doing a giveaway when I get to my thousand mark. So stay tuned and watch for that. I'm not far from it. I think the last time I looked two days ago, I had 566. So I'm not too far from it. It is definitely a doable goal. So now, let's go ahead and get crafting. So, as I said before, I'm part of a collab. Um, we've got Unicorn Dust Designs and Crafting Cousins are the hosts. Jody at Southern Seasons is the guest host. I will leave the um, link to the playlist and each of the hosts uh, channels in the description box so that you can go show them some love as well. Um, let them know that you're coming over from my playlist and you know, make sure to show them some love. Like, subscribe, comment, share if you have uh, friends that would enjoy um, the video. So with this particular um, project, Dee Dee started this one um, when we went on one of our um, crafting weekends. And it just was not turning out for her. No matter what she did, she was... She got frustrated with it, and she was about to chuck it in the garbage. I'm like, no, no, no. We can fix this. This can be done. It's like, I'm done with it. So I decided to pick it up and finish it um, today. So she originally had painted it green and then did the, the uh, top black for the hair. And the green just wasn't, um, it was kind of streaking like, so we took and, um, 
painted white over it to have a good um, base on there. And then um, she just, she gets frustrated when she's painting stuff because that first coat always has like a streaky look to it. Um, so she gets very frustrated with that. She had painted the white to cover up the green she had done and it was streaky and she's like, it looks like a kindergartner painted it. So it stopped at the white and black. I took and um, painted it with a kind of a lime green. I forgot to write down the colors. I've already put the paints away. It is a um, apple barrel paint, but I don't remember exactly what color it was. So I painted it with that uh, lime green, and now I'm going in here with a pencil first to draw the features, um, because I just, uh, I don't trust myself with just the, the paintbrush without having something to follow. If I mess up while I'm drawing it, I can erase it. If I mess up while I'm painting it, it's a little more uh, challenging. But I took and, um, as you saw, I took and went ahead and made sure I got around the back with the black as well. Um, I wanted it to be uniform front and back for the hair anyway. And I know this... It, as I'm watching this from my, uh, while I'm doing the voiceover, the green is not showing up really well in the, the video, but I think that's just from my light. And you can see little Smokey there. He's, a uh, he's being a little, uh, challenging. I think he was, I don't know if he was chasing on some, I don't know. He'll get up there and, and curl up and lay his head up on my little board there while I'm crafting and just watch me. But he's still a kitten, so it doesn't take much to distract him and get him riled up. And he is, yeah. Some days I think I should have, see, he was trying to walk up beside me as I was painting. He was hitting my arm, so I just picked him up and moved him there. Sometimes I think I should have named him Dennis, as in Dennis the Menace. Because when he's not cuddling with me, he is a menace. <laughs> he is curious about everything and into everything. Alright, so as you can see here, now I'm taking the paint and getting, you know, painting in there um, where I've drawn, drawn out that face. And just um, putting a, like, little... Uh, stitch marks in the nose and stuff. Drawing his mouth. Doing little stitch marks on it too. And then I'll fill in the eyeball, the eyes better in a minute. And as I'm watching this, I'm thinking I should have done white for the whites of the eyes. And I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't. He's still cute. And I can go back and, and put some white in there if I need to. <clears throat> That's an easy one to do. But I just put him a couple of little stitches here and there on his face. And then, of course, here I get confused about what I'm doing. <laughs> I dipped in the white paint. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm not ready for the white yet. I need to do the black first. Maybe my brain was trying to tell me I needed to do white first and then do this. Who knows? But anyway, um, I just color it in there. Kind of have him looking off to the side. Like, a, I don't know, he, he's, he's been through trauma. He's been through a lot. So, you know, he, he's trying to be wary of his surroundings and, and watching to make sure that 
you know, nobody's after them to use them as a science experiment or project, you know? Because, come on, Frankenstein would make a perfect science project. Because, well, he is a science project. But, you know, he doesn't want anybody messing with him anymore. He wants to live his life, his best life, right? Anyway, so I took, um, <laughs> I thought he was going to jump up there on my <laughs> on my freshly painted uh, project there. Anyway, I took and I have, I bought like a little package of little mini wooden pickle barrels at Hobby Lobby. So I took one of those and used my little, um, my little cutter, my miter saw. I've got a mini miter saw. And I just cut it in half. And those will be the little posts on his neck, so to speak. I'm sitting here painting black, and I thought I cut that part out. What the heck? I had cut it out, but uh, I don't know. I probably ended up deleting something else instead of that. I was over here kind of, one thing about me, if my hands aren't busy crafting or, you know, something when I'm sitting, I will doze off. So I was trying to watch and edit and cut things out and I caught myself dozing a few times. I cannot sit still without going, without dozing off. It's very frustrating sometimes. So here I'm making him a little bow tie. With some Halloween ribbon. I don't know if you watched my last video. I, did, I knew I had bought some. Some Halloween ribbon. And I couldn't find it anywhere. As you can see I found it. Because it dawned on me. Like the next day after the video came out. On my way to work. Where I had put the ribbon. I was like ah. Oh, yeah I know where it is now. I guess better late than never. Right. So I just made him a. Um, I just took and made a loop. And glued the, the ends together. And then I cut a little piece there. To scrunch it in the middle with. As you can see, I'm just kind of, I ended up having to fold it in half, so it was a little bit thinner um, across there. And once I got the glue set, I just fluffed it out. And now he's got a cute little halloween -y bow tie. He is ready to go out on the town and party. Don't you know? I think he has a hot date. What do you think? He's so cute. I wonder if he's going to see a, a scary movie. I bet he's going to watch a Frankenstein movie. That's where he's going. But he's got to look spiffy. You know? I have your little bow tie and look spiffy when you're out on the town. So now I'm uh, gluing on the little posts. And I glued that one up too high. I was like, oh, that's too high. It needs to be his neck, not his cheekbones, basically. So I just, I was able to pull it off. I hadn't, it hadn't been on there long enough to fully set so I could pull it off. <clears throat> and there we have him. Cute little Frankenstein. So on to DIY number two. These also are um, a project that I had started, I think, last year. And I, the other side of these, I had used um, some window clings. And because of the way the window clings were, I had to fussy cut around them. And I, I don't know, I just wasn't happy with the way it looked. 
So after I got the window clings on there and everything, I was like, I, I'm not feeling this. I'm going to set it aside for a while. So that's what I did. And I decided I'd come back to them and work on this side. So these tags, the um, hangers are stapled to the back. And I, for the life of me, could not get pry that staple out of there. Which, two of these are fine. But um, the one I'm working on right now... I really needed to get the pull all of that off of there because I wasn't, I don't know, I wasn't thinking because these were um, clearanced out Chris, uh, tags from Christmas. So the one has a red and white baker's twine um, hanger on it and I could not, could not get that staple out of there. So I was like, okay, well, and I couldn't find any of the thinner jute twine. I cleaned and organized, which is a mistake, because now I don't know where I, the designated spot, and yes, I did air quotes when I said designated, I, I don't recall what the designated spot was for the twine. I'll get it together eventually. <laughs> when you have so many craft supplies in your stash, it's really easy to uh, totally lose or forget, you know, lose stuff or forget you have it. And uh, I lost it. I don't know where it went. And see, I thought I cut out. Oh, I okay, never mind. So I took some of these wooden pumpkins I got from Hobby Lobby. And I painted uh, them with the pumpkin from Waverly. And I took one of them that I put on the, the truck tag and painted it in the moss, the Waverly moss green. And here I'm just using the antique wax to kind of highlight the pumpkin. Um, you know, the, the little grooves or whatever on the pumpkin. And also to paint the stem. Oh, and back to what I was saying about the twine in the other one. I ended up just kind of going over it with some um, pumpkin chalk paint. <clears throat> and it's okay, but I I'm going to figure out a way to get that staple out of there and restring it. But I didn't have time to keep playing with it. But see, you can see where I put the window cling on the back of the those before. And... When I did these with the window clings, I put the window cling on the back side of that one instead of the front side. <clears throat> but I'm using these pumpkins to help cover up where that, where the, um, string is, is, um, stapled on there. I can't talk today, folks. I'm just, yeah, I'm a hot mess, but that's nothing new. Let's see, I've got the little window cling. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not a fan of the, the window clings on the other side and just could not for the life of me figure out what else to do with it to, it, it'll come to me. Eventually I'll figure out something, but it just wasn't coming to me this time. So I just did the other sides of them. And then here I've got, um, this apple mold and I'm taking some of the air dry clay and making some of um, little apples for the next project and you know it's I just dusted the, the mold with a little bit of cornstarch so that um, my clay would come out um, a little bit easier and not stick to the mold. I haven't been playing with uh, clay and molds much either. It's it's a newer um, medium for me. <clears throat> Pardon me. I had popcorn earlier and I feel like I've got a popcorn all stuck in my throat. 
But anyway, I just took and made a couple of these. I didn't make you watch me make all of them. But I did put, I did get two of them in the molds, pop them out. Um, now with these silicone molds like this, these ice cube molds, basically, it's a little more challenging to get them out of there. And you don't want to, you know, like you would with an ice cube, you would push on the other side of it to pop it out. Um, unless you're going to let your clay dry in there, you don't want to pop it out that way because then you'll have a big old thumbprint in the middle of your thing. So I usually just kind of stretch it around the sides to kind of loosen it from the sides. And then, as you can see here, and then I try to pop it out of there and see. And I did have to push a little bit on the other side, but not a lot. I was very careful with it. And then, because I'm putting this in a floral arrangement, I needed to put them on something. So, I put I used some skewers and put them on the skewers. And now, I and I did that while the clay was still soft before it dried. So, it should stay on there just fine. Um, if not, then I can always put a dab of glue in there. And I promise that, yeah, there we go. We dropped down where you could see. Um, I used Waverly Crimson to um, paint these. And then I also used the Antique Wax for the stems. Oh, I'm going to turn. Sorry, I had to turn on the AC. It's getting hot in here. So hopefully that AC unit does not make too much noise over my voiceover. I was trying to uh, muddle through until I got done with the voiceover before I turned that on. But yeah, when you have hot flashes and it's already 78 degrees in the, the, li in the living room, well, gotta turn it on. So I would have liked to have used more leaves in this, um, but I couldn't find them. I have a ton of them somewhere. They're in a bin in the shed that is packed top to bottom, front to back, and didn't really have time to go pull a bunch of stuff out of there to get to those bins. I do at least know where they are, but I still have to pull a lot out to get to them. But I'm taking and putting, you know, different flowers in there. And since since this was an apple, um, since there's apples and stuff on the container, I'm trying to trying to keep at least um, a decent amount of red in there um, in the arrangement. I do have some orange and and stuff in there. But I tried to keep the primary as red. And here I'm putting these apples in here. And as I was editing, I was looking at them and thinking, Ooh, I should have uh, used the antique wax on those skewers. I will go back and touch that up. I have been... I feel like I'm running in circles and chasing my tail. Um, I've been just kind of running behind schedule on all of my crafts and my videos. Um, in fact, this one is due to be uploaded and posted in 30 minutes, and I'm still trying to do a voiceover for it. So, you see my struggle, right? Hopefully, it won't take too long for it to upload once I get done with the voiceover. But yeah, I, life has just kind of uh, been kicking me in the butt lately. So um, we're just, uh, I'm just winging it. I, I probably should have, since I have two videos due this weekend, one today and one tomorrow, I probably should have just begged out of one of them. But I really wanted to participate in both of them. 
because the these next two weeks are the last fall Halloween, you know, stuff before we move into Christmas crafting. And I feel like I haven't gotten enough fall crafting in. Um, I don't know what, it, I love Christmas, but I don't know what it is about fall. I, I just love doing all of the, you know, the colors and the, all of that. So I'm kind of trying to make sure I can jam pack as much Halloween and fall in there as I can before I have to swap up to Christmas crafting. So here I took, um, I picked up this, it's like a narrower burlap ribbon. And at, where did I, I got it at Dollar General. Um, I didn't realize it was wired when I grabbed it, but as I was running through the store, I saw that and I was like, ah, that's perfect. I need that for my, um, my thing. And the problem is that it's a little more difficult to tie a small bow, a shoestring bow, with wired ribbon. At least for the smaller, you know, bows and whatnot. We use the wired ribbon for the big bows. But, yeah, that was a little bit of a challenge. But I got it. So what I had done was I wrapped the, I wrapped ribbon around the top portion of the container and tacked it in the, you know, when I put the two ends together and then on the back and then put the bow on. So my birthday is coming up October 16th and I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers by my birthday. And I will be doing a giveaway of some of these free craft supplies that I got. So I would love it if, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you would, and show me some love there, help me get to a thousand subscribers. I am so excited. I'm so close. So close, y'all. I can't wait. And I think, you know, I've, I was at 566 last time I looked, so it's doable. Thanks for watching and have a great day.